by um, some people's accounts, the Queen of Venice Poetry, I think that was a name that was stuck on her over the year. Um, Philippine Long was the daughter of a naval officer and a mother who emigrated from Ireland to America to become a writer. Her vocation came as a nun at age seven, and she entered the covenant as a rather wild teenager. After a failed marriage, she moved to Venice to write poetry, shoot film, and live exactly as she chose. She became a regular feature of the oceanfront in her tennis shoes, black thrift shop dresses, long straight hair, alarm clock pendant, and heavy silver cross. Over the years, Long published many books of poetry, including two collaborations with her husband of 18 years, poet John Thomas. She died suddenly after a brief illness in her home in Venice on August 21st, 2007, dressed in white, lying next to her writing table with her hand outstretched. That's a bio written by Philippine's sister, Peggerty Long, and I'm very happy to say that we have Peggerty here to read today. Peggerty Long.
who feeds them. Through your forehead our eagles fly. We are the last thing you hear before you die. The sound of air against the wings of birds one stone can tell the entire story of an ancient race of queens no longer heard. Our children became sand. Our poems dust. Your feet will recognize our touch. For when you walk, you will walk on us. It's written in Venice, 1981. And this is when I have a production company called Raven Productions. As soon as I made up that name, Philomene just was all over it. <laughs> she published every, every book, <laughs> Raven Press, Raven Productions. You know, she was a poet. She loved the word. So anyway, and there is a little book on Raven Productions. A raven, all that ravens. There are never enough ravens in a poem <laughs> for parody. The moon, if it could, would be a raven. <laughs> Many stars strive to be ravens. Lightning is the slow raven. Most ravens have been seduced by the blind. Mm -hmm. The mother of us all is the uncarved raven. I write always with a raven's quill. Between my fingers there are never enough ravens in a poem. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> the ghost of Venice West. It's filming in John, Venice poem poets. The black is on. The ghost of Venice West. They are already ghosts, John and Philomene, as they pass along the boardwalk, this highway of poetry and death, where ghosts and poets overlap. As they pass the goals, ghosting above their shadows, everything haunting everything. Already ghosts, John and Philomene, under the ghost lamps of Venice West, their cadence, the breath of sleep at rest, lost at the edge of America. Already ghosts, and each poem Already a farewell. Everything's haunting. Everything. The sea is the ghost of the world. And this is the last one I'll, I'll read. It, you know, uh, it's basically telling you writing a poem, which whenever I read, <laughs> it is a really scary. <laughs> I am no longer afraid. I am no words. Follow me with each breath. 
I do not disappoint them, all they, although they brought me here. Their voices die them by one. Other ruminations, no longer my own, their thunders are pleasant enough mm. as strapped to my pen. I slip further. <laughs>